So apparently, Eric Clapton is an anti-vaxxer. Yeah, Eric Clapton, anti-vaxxer. And this isn't just something that he's vocalized, you know, uh, talking about how he doesn't believe in the vaccines via Twitter. He's so big of an anti-vaxxer, he literally wrote an anti-vax song, which has been dubbed an anti-vax anthem by Mary Poppin Fuss of HuffPost. So I can't play the song for you, obviously, because of copyright re reasons, but I do have the lyrics for you. But before I give you the lyrics to this song, the so-called anti-vax anthem, I do want to give you some additional context. So as HuffPost reports, vehement anti-vaccine rocker Eric Clapton has put out what appears to be a musical rant against pandemic restrictions and vaccines. The animated music video for the legendary guitarist's apparent anti-vaccine anthem, This Has Gotta Stop, features an evil puppeteer and protesters brandishing signs reading Liberty and Stop. It also includes an illustration of Jam for Freedom, the British anti-lockdown street performance group that Clapton supports, noted Rolling Stone, which was the first to report Clapton's latest. The veteran British musician, 76, has blasted COVID-19 vaccines since what he called his own disastrous health struggles after receiving the AstraZeneca vaccine. After the first jab, he straight away had severe reactions, which lasted 10 days, he explained in a note that was shared on social media in May. After the second injection, quote, my hands and feet were either frozen, numb, or burning, and pretty much useless for two weeks. I feared I would never play again, Clapton added. He has characterized assurances that COVID-19 vaccines are safe as, quote, propaganda. It's hard to bite my tongue with what I now know, wrote Clapton, who refuses to perform at any venue where vaccines are required. I will not perform on any stage where there is a discriminated audience present, he declared last month while on social media. Uh, Unless there's provision made for all people to attend, I reserve the right to cancel the show. Health experts around the world say that serious side effects from COVID-19 vaccines are infinitesimal compared to the health and lives saved. So I'm going to sound like an ageist prick, but I'm going to say this anyway. Like when he was thinking, oh my God, I might not never play again because of these side effects from the vaccine. I mean, my dude, you're like a thousand years old. How much longer do you think you have to continue playing? You're 76. Do you think you have another 30 years of playing? I mean, I, I'm just trying to figure out like his his mindset here. And sure, it's really unfortunate to experience side effects from the vaccines. Nobody likes side effects from medications. But I mean, if you were to get COVID-19 and you weren't vaccinated, you would have wished that you had those side effects. Because those side effects, as you know, uh, experts are saying, it pales in comparison to the side effects of getting COVID-19. And what's really especially gross about this is the fact that he got the vaccine and now he's discouraging others from taking the vaccine. So he's protected in the event he gets COVID-19. But now how many people will he convince to not get vaccinated because he had side effects for 10 days? It's just, it's truly, um, yeah, yeah, it's really disgusting. And you're going to see people who are, kind of like skeptical of vaccines, relatively vaccine hesitant that chose to get vaccinated, but then they're going to attribute whatever negative or physical or even mental illnesses that they have to the vaccines. Like if they have like, I don't know, a headache, they're going to say, well, I was vaccinated six months ago. Like we're going to have to really look out for this. This is going to become a common phenomenon because people are going to work backwards from the conclusion that vaccines are bad. And this is going to be used as evidence that the vaccines are indeed dangerous. People are going to say, oh, well, look, Cla Eric Clapton, someone who I like, this legendary guitarist, you know, he says that the vaccines are bad. He had a bad experience, so I trust him. And, you know, uh, that same person might choose to not get vaccinated because of what Eric Clapton says, and then they might contract COVID-19, give it to someone else, and they might die, or a loved one that they infect might die because of this misinformation, because Eric Clapton thinks that he's being some sort of a rebel because he's anti-vax. <sighs> It's just really frustrating. Um, so I want to play you the song, but I can't, obviously. Uh, but uh, I've got the next best thing, which are lyrics. And the lyrics here are very, very basic and stupid. Um, it's not like he's not on the level of Buddy Brown or Tom McDonald, but it's still extremely stupid. And when I when I read this, like I, I think that this is a simpleton who wrote these lyrics. Uh, so he says, this has got to stop. Enough is enough. I can't take this BS any longer. See, it's relatable if 
the BS he's referring to is the pandemic. I would very much like to move on from this pandemic. We've been dealing with this now for almost 19 months. I'd like to move on. I'd like to get back to normal. But because of anti-lockdown, anti-mask, anti-vaccine dumb fucks like you, we're still seeing the virus spread. So yeah, I'm also tired of this BS. But the BS that is coming out of uh, your mouth, it's gone far enough. If you want to claim my soul, you'll have to come and break down this door. So I'm assuming this is like some sort of an, um, uh, I don't know, some tacit attack on this idea of vaccine mandates. But your soul was already claimed because you got vaccinated. So it's too late for you. You know, if that was the mark of the beast, you're going to go to hell, Eric Clapton. So um, too late. I knew that something was going on wrong. Uh, when you started laying down the law, I can't move my hands. I break out in sweat. I want to cry. Can't take it anymore. This is him, like, presumably talking about the side effects that he got from the AstraZeneca vaccine. Grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. We all had side effects from the vaccine. I was sick for about a day. I had chills the night when I was vaccinated on my second dose of the Moderna vaccine. And then the next day, I felt, like, pretty... Uh, tired i had body aches uh and then i felt better the next day and then by the third day i was fine now i'm also a lot younger than eric clapton so you know it's probably going to affect him differently but grow the fuck up like this is a virus that we're dealing with and we should be thankful that we have this vaccine so soon it's like a miracle right that we have a vaccine that's highly effective and safe and it's widely available in developed countries but what do you do you act like a fucking child because you feel sick from it Okay, well then, uh, you know, imagine how you'd feel if you got COVID, dumb fuck. I can't move my hands. Okay, read that. Uh, okay, so he's repeating. I believe that's the chorus. I'm not sure. It's gone far enough. I've been around long, long time, seen it all, and I'm used to being free. So you never grew up in a world where vaccine mandates were a thing because they've always been a thing. So if you're used to being free then it's just like what your perception of freedom is. You are only thinking of vaccine mandates because this issue has been politicized thanks to dumb fucks like you. But your freedom isn't being impeded by vaccine mandates. See, you're impeding on the freedom of others by propagating this misinformation, by encouraging people to not get vaccinated. Because when they don't get vaccinated, when this virus continues to spread, then it mutates. And a new mutation might bypass the existing vaccines that we have. The, the mu variant might very well bypass the vaccines, right? So I want my freedom, my freedom from this virus. So you can go fuck yourself. I don't care about what you believe is freedom. Freedom is truly being able to live your life and not have to worry about a highly contagious, deadly virus. These people are so petulant. I know who I am, try to do what's right. So lock me up and throw away the key. This is the conservative persecution complex. These people really want to feel as if they're victims for some reason. My dude, you are very, very wealthy. You can shut the fuck up, hide away in your mansion, and live the best life you could possibly live. I'm sure that he has a fucking indoor pool, an indoor bowling alley. Like, you are as rich as you can possibly be, and you're trying to be the victim. Shut the fuck up. Oh my God, these people are, are insufferable to me. Thinking of my kids, what's left for them, and then what's coming down the road. The light in the tunnel could be the southbound train. Lord, please help them with their load. I'm gonna come. This has gotta stop. Enough is enough. I can't take this BS any longer. Okay, I think we're getting down to the climax here. Uh, it's gone far enough. If you wanna claim my soul, you'll have to come and break down this door. This door, this door, this door. Break down this door, this door, this door, this door. Mr. Clapton, sir, get fucked. Get fucked, you absolute insufferable cunt. And I can call him a cunt because, I mean, you know, uh, he's British, right? Is he British? I think it said he's British, right? That's not as big of a deal to British people. Yeah, he's a British musician. So I can call him a cunt. And even if he was an American, I would still call him a cunt because this is just cunt behavior. Like, you're a petulant child Shut the fuck up. You're making anti-vax anthems. Like, is this really what you want your legacy to be? Anti-science during a global pandemic? Jesus. I mean, you're 76, but grow up. Clearly, you haven't matured mentally enough. Grow the fuck up. Stop being a petulant baby. 
Stop discouraging people from getting vaccinated. How many people are you going to like be indirectly responsible for killing because of this dumb fuck anthem? Just Jesus, I'm so sick of these people. I'm exhausted. But I mean, we'll continue to see this stupidity because that's the world that we live in. It is uh, ruled by dumb fucks, unfortunately.